All right, it's time for somebody to speak about this issue. Running Facebook ads isn't healthy. The uncertainty and the random results are at all-time high in 2024. I'm considering reducing my budget permanently for the sake of my mental health. It has been such a shit show this year. I have been running ads for many years, but at this point, I'm really tired of random money burning events. They break something up and we can just wait and hope for the best. Maybe it's going to be a day, maybe a week. Nobody knows. In the meantime, we get zero news or updates about it from Meta. They make up some stories that their experts share during absolutely useless calls. Oh, and you come here to promote you your sorry as coaching service business. Just skip this post. I'm fed up with all those who know it all people saying, that's your strategy. I target numerous countries from three continents, no change on the website. If everything stops working at once, it means that the algorithm is full. The answer, the most common explanation is not election in the USA. It may change something, but those issues are present worldwide. And a lot of people agree. A lot of people agree. This is just a guy on Reddit. As you all know, I'm the best Facebook ads expert out there. So I'm going to talk about the mental health of the Facebook ads marketer because I'm the guy who is running ads every day. I'm the, guys, I'm the guy who explains to clients what's happening yo, when these ads are not working. Yeah, some days on some days, I have a negative return on ad spend. But none of the Facebook ads gurus who actually say that. Most of the people are making billions from just one campaign. They're getting better and better and better results. However, this is not the case for normal people. Some people are struggling. Do I have some ad accounts that are working extremely well? Yes, I do. Do I have some ad accounts that are underperforming right now? Yes, I do. So what do I do in these hard times? I just test new creative. <laughs> just kidding. I don't test new creatives. I don't test new creatives. I'm so smart. I can make Facebook ads work with one creative. So this guy says, finally, I'm fed up of hearing that creative is to blame. It's the algorithm. It's the algorithm, right? And here admin says, I'm not sure if it's like the admin, the admin of the admin, the admin of the admins, the person who actually owns Facebook ads Reddit. Yep, I'm not even bothering with testing creatives right now. None of this is organic. If I'm testing creatives while Facebook is going through its latest cheating of the bed, I'm just blowing money and wasting creative that might have been massive winners during normal times. It's not normal to profit 300, 500 per day for two weeks, then suddenly lose 700 a day for two weeks, even with bit caps, and then go back to 300, 500 profits daily without making any changes, especially when this pattern consistently lines up with Facebook outages and widespread reports of father experiencing the same issue. It's like a faucet turning on and off that you can see in real time. If you monitor your traffic as closely as they do, you can almost pinpoint the exact moment that you're about to start money, burning money for one or two weeks. Yeah, yeah, this guy says another interesting thing. I've noticed that when you start a new campaign on Meta, it will work really well for a week or two max. Then she just goes downhill. Most people like me will forget to start a new campaign noticing all of this crap. So weeks, months will go by before you launch a new campaign and the leads you get will be gar garbage. Not sure what Meta is doing, but this is a struggle for everyone right now. Nobody has all of the proper insights and it's becoming a mess. I wonder if it has to do with the election coming up. Haha, <laughs> thoughts maybe, who knows, I agree. I'm not sure what's going to happen because I advertise all across the world, but I don't see anything stable anywhere. If I have to describe Facebook ads in 2024, this is uncertainty. If other gurus have to describe Facebook ads, they're going to say trillions or maybe like billions or maybe, maybe millions. Of course, the Facebook ads gurus are already making billions. That's billions with a B. You know what I'm talking about? So it doesn't really even matter. It doesn't really even matter what's happening. 
it doesn't be brave enough to lower your budget. I manage over 30 different ad accounts across various niches, running more than 100 craves daily, covering every type of crave in the highest converting industry. After seven years of offering guests, I, this guy is, is managing 30 different ad accounts. If this guy has mental health issues, this will be the guy, Eric Jeremy. Let's find this guy on the internet. Let's find this guy. Let's find, let's find Eric Jeremy and let's donate something to him because he is doing a lot, man. He is managing 38 accounts, right? Right. There is something odd going on Facebook stock as at a high, but the results on the ground. Any recommendations for your ad spend by at least 70%? Should you lower your ad spend? I'm not sure, man. If you like money, maybe you should lower your ad spend. Maybe this is something reasonable for you to do. And, th and this guy is like sharing a post. He's saying, please, please read this. And he's going to send us somewhere. Right. I, I don't have the desire to run this on my YouTube channel. But here, let's donate something to Jeremy who runs 38 account, 38 accounts. And this guy is like going crazy. This guy, I'm pretty sure he has mental health issues. Do I have mental health issues running Facebook ads? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I do. So how do I handle these mental health issues? I suppress my emotions. I suppress my emotions because we are men. This is what we do. We suppress our emotion. Or what I've been doing recently, if I open Google Images, you'd know I'm very, very good on Google Images. And this is the sport I practice. BJJ, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. This is how it looks like. This is how it looks like. So this is it. That's the sport. You should try it. It's going to help your mental health issues. Right? Another good hobby you could do. That's a hobby I do as well. I started picking up recently. It's just like hiking. I think it's called trekking. Trekking. That's the name of the hobby. And this is what it looks like. You go in the mountains. Right? You go in the mountains and you walk for hours. The more hours you walk, the better you feel. So this is what I recommend. This is like the healthy version. So I'm going to give you the healthy version. You already know the healthy version. Overeating, over drinking, not sleeping enough. You know, this is like the unhealthy version. But here, because I'm a good guy, I'm going to give you the solution. I don't know, man. Whenever I try to create these videos, I always try to provide you with the solution. However, there is not a solution, really. All right. All right. Let's do it like this. Let me switch it up. Let's do it like this. Let me fix my... I've been doing a video a week on YouTube. I'm going to do this until the end of the year. Probably it's time for me to end this video because I have a meeting in 53 minutes. This was the video for today. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. What others YouTubers say. Click the notification bell button. Comment. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm the best Facebook ads expert with the worst YouTube channel out there. Yeah, I like this. I like this. I'm the best Facebook ads expert with the worst channel out there. Huh. All right. Bye for now.